What we see here is a woman in the death throes of a bad argument. She has been pushing this narrative that Micaiah Bryant is a victim of police brutality and she's losing. And you can sense it when she talks. She's in trouble and she notes it. Hello out there. I am trying to get through. With his powerful brain waves cradled in the warmth of reasoning, it's time for Johnny Walker Dread to straighten you out on a thing or two. Emanating all the way from exciting Las Vegas, Oklahoma, it's the Johnny Walker Dread Show. We're talking about the police shooting death of 16-year-old Micaiah Bryant. Sarah? Well, first when of all... When you saw it, what, what went through your mind? Yeah. Well, first of all, it's... it's, it's always tragic and awful to see a life gone too soon. That, that, that is the human response to any of this. The hell is she wearing? Is she planning on going into the shower and not getting wet? Um, but what jumps out at me about the video is with the police pulling up on the scene, it didn't it didn't slow that scuffle down at all. And normally when you see police pull up, there's a moment of, oh, it, it wasn't me. You know, everyone jumps up. They, they kept going. Because they don't respect the law. I mentioned this in the previous video, that when we were kids, whatever we were doing, man, that action stopped when the police pulled up because we respected the law. We have no respect for the law, and they paid the price for that. Fully. Police don't have time when they pull up on a situation like that to assess the group. How old are they? Who started this? Who's doing what? Who's the aggressor? They see a weapon, and they have a moment, a split second, to make a decision. And we see in that video that... That woman in pink against the car, she's being lunged at. And if that were my loved one, I would want something done immediately because her life is in imminent danger. And I think two things can be true at once. And this is why uh, nuance is so important here. Black people are at a higher risk of dying by police, three times more likely. That is true. But police are also in really tough situations where they're approaching something without context. And if someone's life is in danger, they don't have a chance to choose who life is worth this. Da, da. They see a knife. They see someone lunging. And these girls did, girls or women, they, you know, it's hard to tell their age when you're looking at them. Nothing slowed down, even with those sirens pulling up and even those police coming out. It didn't slow them down at all. So I think it's really important to look at these each case by itself, because when we potentially group all this into one narrative, we stand to remain with the same problem. If we misidentify what these situations are, we're not going to solve the ones that really need that attention. That's one of the clearest narratives I have heard on this duty. Good argument. You're going to watch Whoopi Goldberg. I'll get totally off balance. And she's going to have to reframe the argument in some fashion where she could come out looking good. Let's see what she does. By the way, notice the discomfort. Uh, you're probably right, but I will say, I just want to give some context in terms of what we've been told so far. She's uncomfortable. She, she knows that she's losing this argument. The girl called the police because a whole group of girls followed her back to her foster home that's actually not true first of all it was janiah bryant not micaiah bryant that called the police and i don't believe that the girls followed her back to the house they were there for a birthday party she also called her mother and her grandfather i think to come to help her to help her with what okay the fact that she's calling other people does not support her how is that even an argument? She went outside with a knife. Yes, she did. She went outside with a knife and she didn't have to. If she's really scared of those girls, why didn't she lock the doors and stay inside? The police are coming. The whole point of calling the police was for the police to come in and take care of the situation. Why would she go outside with a knife? To be honest, I'm not sure she went outside with a knife. I think the father might have given her the knife when she was already outside to fight the girls off 16 year olds are do dumb stuff to fight the girls off what he's inside a house they're outside what is she fighting the girls off of as far as doing stupid things goes yeah you're right young kids do stupid things and sometimes they get hurt badly when they do these stupid things they go on a bicycle ride without their helmet and they get badly hurt 
go skateboarding without knee pads and they bust their knees. It happens. They don't go out with a knife and try to stab somebody. Well, they shouldn't. This is the old kids will be kids argument that she's pulling here. It's a terrible argument. I can't understand why she's even trying this, but well, what else has she got at this point? Okay, they think they can take care of stuff. Now, they're not thinking, oh, the cops are not going to know I'm the one that called. Nobody's going to know that because there's much going on. The fight is happening apparently up from where the two people are standing at the car. The fight is happening. No, somebody assaulted somebody. A fight doesn't happen. So he says he, she was lunging. My question is, okay. He says she was lunging. Damn it, Whoopi, you didn't see the video? Do you really have to make this as what the officer claimed? We know that she lunged at her with a knife. It's on video. It's, it's crystal clear. Own up to it. Is there a way for people not to shoot first? I mean, we saw, we, we've heard. Yeah, there is. There's a way for people not to shoot first. Just don't shoot first. That's the easiest way to not shoot first. Just don't do it. And let whatever happens, happens. And then you can arrest the people afterwards. Um, you can pr apply CPR to the person on the ground who's bleeding out because they got stabbed. You can do that. Heard somebody say, you know, well, there are tasers. Why didn't they tase them? Or yeah, we already heard this crap from you before. You had them shooting up in the air. You had them shooting her in the behind. At what point are you not going to admit that you got it wrong? You know, the whole thing about all of this and what LeBron wrote was there will be, you know, your next accountability. I think what he was saying is you're going to have to explain this. She's falling back on a fortified defense. So when you're losing the battle, getting your ass kicked. There is a time when you need to retreat. And you retreat back to a fortified position that's easy to defend. Her fortified defense is this accountability argument. This is an argument she can fall back on that she can win. No longer are we going to be talking about whether the officer did anything wrong or not. She doesn't have the guts to admit that he did the right thing. And so what she's going to do is reshift the argument all back on this straw man argument that this is all about accountability. And in a way, you are going to have to explain it because just like uh, I think Sonny was saying, talking about Kyle Rittenhouse, they do act differently sometimes, the police, with white people than they do with black people. Depends on what they're doing. You go charging at the police with a knife, yeah, they'll shoot you. If you hold your hands up and you walk slowly to the police, they won't shoot you. I always ask, show me an example of a black suspect complying fully with orders and getting shot anyway. Now, that may have happened. It's extremely rare, so extraordinarily rare, that you can probably count the number of instances on one hand. And yet they blow this out of proportion to make it sound like this is commonplace. It is not commonplace. People get shot by the police because they do stupid things in front of the police. And Micaiah Bryant pulled off one of the dumbest things you can possibly do. And she was shot for it. Not the police officer's fault. You know, he was carrying a gun. He was carrying a shotgun. Now, now he's carrying a shotgun. Oh, yeah, all right. You're really well researched on what happened in the Kenosha shootings, aren't you, Whoopi? I couldn't do that down the street. Yes, you could. If you showed up in Kenosha that night with a shotgun or an AR-15, they would not have shot you. Now, if you pointed at them, they might. This is just such a filthy lie. If you want to see what happens when black people carry AR-15s around in public, watch the video on the NFAC, the Not uh, Freaking Around Coalition. Go ahead. Do the research. They're walking around with AR-15s, pump-action shotguns and everything. They have full military guard on. They are belligerent and they are not getting shot by the police. It's a myth. So people are making assessments all the time. So the real, the real thing I think to take away from all of this is the police have done the right thing. They have said, okay, we're going to investigate this.
okay, so the police did the right thing because they're saying they're going to investigate it. You still don't have the courage to admit that the police officer was in the right. He did the right thing. And we now, as society, are going to hold them to it. Because you shouldn't be able to shoot anyone dead and not have to explain it in front of everyone. The classic straw man argument. She's created this argument that the issue here is whether people should be held accountable for shooting other people. Of course, everyone should be held accountable. Everybody is going to agree with that. That's why they call this a straw man argument. That was never the argument here. Argument was. Did the police officer do the right thing? That's what's happening. That's what the George Floyd uh, outcome should be, is that you have to be accountable for what you do as a police officer. You just have to be accountable. They haven't been oftentimes because you can run down a list of names. But now we say, listen. What she means by accountable is convicted. There's been a lot of police officers that have shot people and they have not been convicted of murder. That's what she's saying. So accountability and conviction in her mind are the same thing. There are some times when they need to tell us what's going on. And no, you can't know everything when you roll up, but if you pull that weapon out and shoot somebody, accountability should be everything. I mean, who would disagree with that? Jim Jones? Jonestown fame? No, he'd probably go along with that. What about Jack the Ripper? He'd probably agree with that. Adolf Hitler, Stalin, Pol Pot would probably all agree with that statement. Because that has to protect all of us. Black, brown, yellow, orange, green. Everybody should be protected. She didn't mention white. <laughs> Including the officer. If the officer is innocent. So... It's important, accountability. If the officer is innocent, he still doesn't have the guts to come out and say it. I don't think LeBron was being rude. I think he was just saying, okay, here's another time for, for talking. If she wants to think that and that lets her sleep at night, fine. But she's a perfect example of what happens when you take celebrity entertainers and you put them in positions to where... They have to use some critical thinking skills, and she has none. Like my video and subscribe to my channel.